and welcome to the live stream. My name is Pamela Stewart. I'm an author of young adult science fiction and fantasy. And today, we are cool. I am here to surprise you because this is a new day. This is a new time. It's written time. How is everyone doing this lovely afternoon? I have been enjoying this chilled out weather we're having for NaNoWriMo. It's definitely starting to feel like the really we're moving into the holiday season. So whoop de doo and diggery dock and all that fun stuff. I am excited to be here with y'all. Um, so this is a surprise, but it's also the theme of the live stream. So I am going to talk a little bit about surprises or maybe things that happen during a story that are a twist. And I consider that like a surprise. And it could be a good surprise or a bad surprise. Have you added any unlikely moments in your story? Maybe that could help you with your nano story or even if you're doing art or anything like that. Have you added an unexpected element? Do you even see where it goes? Well, hey, Barb, hi, Shadow is here, Barb, Chloe, hello, hello, my friends. It is so good to see you. And welcome to this surprise, sprint-tastic night that we're having already. I am so excited to be here with you. Oliver and Batinga are in attendance. I do not know if they will make an appearance. They were very feisty just about five minutes ago. And I am hepped up. I don't have caffeine. I've been fairly good, but I'm going to surprise you with, I got treats for myself because you know what? A midnight, mid, midweek stream is difficult because I work, but you know what? I felt my energy rise on the way home because I knew I was coming to see you guys. So even if you're here to study or anything, I find that Pomodoro Sprints can really focus your energy and time and your attention. So if you like that kind of stuff, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And we're going to be talking a little bit about surprises and different fun things this time. Um, let's see. I also, this week, um, I'm having some mint tea. I know it's boring chocolate mint tea, but it does get me hepped up. It gets me hepped up. It gets me ready to go. I got my Scrivener document already open. I've already got 1,500 words today. So I am game. I have a couple of plot box I need to work on. I need to think about something. Um, one of my favorite things about movies uh, and books is the moment when they do a twist. So I'm going to be working on making a twist, but it's got to be a logical twist. Like one of the epic twists, like, I am your father. Do you have that in your new story? Or do you have a main character who gets killed? And without it, you know, making sense, you have to make it make sense. Do you have, and that's what I'm working on right now. Not necessarily killing a character, but I'm working on making my plot twist make sense. And the lead up to it just be unexpected, but inevitable. And that's, the hard part it's it's got to be flip it's got to be fed into the end it's got to be a little sprinkled in but then it's got to make sense by the end and well hello hello turk yeah so good to see you i'm so happy to have you here yay i'm so glad that we could give you a live when you could attend pam fam for the wound y'all are welcome to come and sprint away. Sprint away, because this is NaNoWriMo, friends. This is the month where we have a license to write. Double O, I, I don't know if that's considered a license. It's like a license to kill. We're going to give you a 007 today. You guys are licensed to write. So take that opportunity and join me. And I'm getting a little atmospheric. I got my candle going. Okay, I got to show you. This one's a good one. I started running out of my fall ones. And actually this works out because this is my homemade treats. And it's got vanilla, apple pie, cinnamon roll. So it's getting me in that warm, cozy, kind of hungry feeling. I guess I am kind of hungry overall because I also got my holiday chapstick out with sugar cookie. So I'm feeling it today. I am feeling it. I'm excited. I, I really want to get some words in. This is the time, people. This is the time. We are officially past the halfway point in NaNoWriMo. 
whatever projects you're working on, if you have a goal of completing them by the end of November, now is the time to buckle down. Not the day before, not the week before. Now is this time to actually get ahead. You can do it. I have faith in you. Let's see. Um, so do you like surprises in your stories? Do you like, like, did you like the Game of Thrones twist? Like, I like the twist at the beginning of Game of Thrones when it was actually unique. And by the end, I felt like the, whoever made the last couple of seasons added some unexpected elements that did not make sense to me. And that's one of the things I do want to avoid when I'm writing or making any kind of creative work. I, I don't want to make a, a unfortunate uh, twist that makes no sense and that makes people upset. So I think you got to balance out being surprising with being realistic. So that's my tip about adding surprise to your work in progress. I have a new, another surprise for tonight. I have a new mascot and I'm going to need your help to name him. And here is my little friend unicorn that I have found and he's adorable and she's got Sparkles, I don't know if you can see, but she's all spark sparkled up and she is beautiful and she's just the right size to fit right on my keyboard as I'm writing and give me that unicorn power that we all need tonight, right? So if anyone starts thinking this first sprint about their favorite twist or a name for my friend unicorn, or if you're just studying and you need some focused attention. For the next 25 minutes, we're going to put all of our will, all of our power, everything that you have. There's nothing else more important right now than this sprint. I mean, if you get little kids, you got to kind of watch them too. It's frowned upon to lock them up. I don't know. Um, keep the, you know, you know, dose your cats, um, get your tea ready. Now is the time. And this is the place. We are going to make it happen. So I want, oh, Dina's here. Hello, hello, hello. Aw, see, that would actually work. As she said, the Christmas or holiday unicorn. See, that might work because my birthday is on Christmas. So that might work. Oh, Oliver is, is moving. I think it's because I'm loud and I'm getting him excited again. But he's um, he likes to chase shadows. So I'll do like shadows on the wall with my fingers and... Hello, Oliver. Do you want to say hi? You've not said hi in a while. You're getting tired. Yeah, he was doing the jumping game. I also had like this little fish hook or a uh, fishing line thing that he just adores. So I know I'm cat crazy. Forgive me. I love them. They're my furry children. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I hope you all are doing well. Let me know what your favorite surprise in anything, uh, in any work of fiction is. And um, if you have any ideas for names, I'm still taking ideas for names. And the first sprint is going to start now-ish. So be prepared. Get those word processors up. I want to see your progress. And this will be timed, people. This is a time test. This is good practice for when you take your exams. You got to get it done. You got to get it done in 25 minutes, people. This is it. This is your chance. This is your one life to live. This is your opportunity. One shot, one opportunity. Are you going to capture it? I'm looking at you. Yeah, you. Get it together. You can do this. Don't lose faith in yourself, no matter how far behind you are or how far ahead you are. Every day is a new challenge. And every day we want to be there because it's fun and because we love it. But it's hard to focus with a world that's so full of craziness. So we're for the 25 minutes, nothing else exists but this timer and me and my little unicorn tribe. And I will be handing out unicorn horns indiscriminately when this is done. So be prepared. Don't click away. Don't get on your phone. This is the time. Get your work done. Let's do it together. All right, 25 on the clock. I am ready. I am focused. I hope you are too. Let's say, let's do some rain sounds too. I think that'd be fun. Oh, I don't know if that's too loud. That's pretty loud. 
with some, uh, maybe a little pitter patter in the background. Let me know if that's annoying and I will turn it off, but I think it's pretty cool. Okay, 25 on the clock. Ah, didn't start. On your mark. Get set. Hit it. Ah!
was the fastest 25 minutes of my life. I don't know if you guys had a good sprint, but my lord, I am so excited because I had a block about two, well, I had a block about a couple of things in the story. I didn't know how to progress. And not only did I think of a nice twist, it made sense. Now, when I go to write it, it might fall apart and I might have to fix it because I tend to have to go back and rewrite and redo as I go. I'm not like a clean writer when I go through my first drafts, but I think I figured out this. I think I figured it out and I am excited. I also blew past my goal of 2000 words and now I'm at 21, 116 for the day and I'm still going strong. Oh, the ideas are flowing. How are you guys doing? How did you do in that first sprint? And by the way, I'm giving myself a healthy unicorn, excited thumbs up for me. How'd you guys do? Oh, wow. Go, 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 Turk. Go. Go, go, Turk, go. You awesome. Go, go, you're awesome. I think you are awesome. Go, go. You feel so good. I know, right? This is a good night for light writing. And I think the rain sound was really good. And being with you guys, I felt very inspired. Damn. Holy cow. Is that your total for the day? Holy cow. I, I don't have more more than one unicorn to give you, but here, I, my, my little friend will bow his head and I will also, that's a double, you got a double corn, you double unicorn, you rock out loud. Oh my God. I've never written that. Well, I've written 7,000 in one day before, but not 10. That's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. Here, I'm going to faint for a second. I'll be back. That's amazing, you guys. So it worked out. It was raining here too. Yes, they are the best. It's just so atmospheric. I remember being at my grandma's house. She lived in Kentucky and they had the roof and uh, the windows were all open. It was a summer night and the train tracks were literally, you know, down past the backyard in the, in the holler as they call it down there. And the train went by and I remember the atmospheric like it, it made its like whistle, train whistle and um, the rain was on the roof and it was just one of those moments and my grandma was in the kitchen cooking and I can smell the, you know, the gravy and bacon at the time I wasn't a vegetarian. So the, the bacon, you know, smelled delicious and the gravy and the biscuits and I don't know, I'm from a Southern family. So wow, we that's amazing. I'm dying. I am dying. Yeah, I know, right? Right? How did you how did everyone else do? Woo! Go Tina. Yeah. Cause you know what? You're killing this nano. And I'm so proud of you. I've noticed on social media you're posting about hitting your 25 and you rock. You rock, girl. Howdy, Devin. Hey, so good to have you here. You know what I, my goal is, cause I had to miss a few days at the beginning of the month. So I'm, ca I caught up. So I'm still trying to maintain the 2000 a word, uh, 2000 words a day pace. And I'm doing okay with that. Um, there was one day I did a 350 because I needed some heavy replotting and I was okay with that because I really needed the time. And now it's made me go forward a lot faster, but I just figured out a Great workaround. I'm not quite all the way through it. I, there's a couple little details I need to finagle, little plot things I need to put in. But yay, man, that was amazing. You guys are killing me. You're killing me with your numbers. I'm going to have to get something, a light up horn or something, something crazy. Gonna, You never know what might happen at the surprise sprint. Uh, so what's your, what's your poison? Are you guys like drinking caffeine this late? Because honestly, I would love this is the time of year that I love peppermint mochas. And since I can't do caffeine at night, it's very difficult. But I'm doing the mint peppermint mocha tea and it's okay. But it's not quite the peppermint mocha with the whipped cream on top. Lord, Lord, it's so good. Hey, Squiz! Squiz is back! Yay! I missed you so much! Big virtual hug! Yay! 
We are getting quite the crew here tonight. Yay, I'm so happy to see you, my friend. Yay. My heart just feels lifted now that Squizums is here. He gets all my stupid jokes. <laughs> I know, Squizums, rock on. One of my favorite original Pam Pham. Yeah, Squizums. I hope we're not making you feel uncomfortable because we love you. We love you. So this is a sprint. This is a sprint marathon about surprises. So in order to keep yourself inspired, I found here's a thing that I sometimes use is I try to do things a little different. Now, last week on Saturday, I think we talked about how to set up your writer space. So it's the same so that you get in the writer's mind every time you sit down. But sometimes, I mean, when you're doing like 10,000 words a day, still trying to process process that information. <laughs> when you're doing 10,000 words a day, you might the place might get stale. So here's a make it, surprise, you know, surprise yourself. Try doing something different. Go to a different room, get a different perspective, try writing. I know it's limiting right now in certain areas. You can't go everywhere, but um, go to a friend's house that's safe or go to an, either another room or do a standing desk or um, do flash sprints. Just change up your routine a little bit and that might just like pop you up or use a different word processor or use a different software that gets your mind popping because then you never know where our minds are strange and they, they're code locks. And I think that we have to stimulate them in different ways. And I always fight against things like doing yoga or getting active and um, listening to music. Before I came on here, I was just feeling really low energy. And uh, I had worked all day and I'm like, oh, but I was looking forward to coming and being with you guys and bringing that energy and, and trying to provide you some place where you can get your writing done. So I turned on all my old school 80s. And I was hopping around the house, just feeling it and having a good time, just having a great time. So try something you don't normally do and force yourself to do it and force yourself into a new thought pattern. And that might stimulate some ideas. Uh, you love my new unicorn? Yeah, he doesn't have any. He doesn't have a name. I think he's definitely a he. Yeah, I know. Like it was our friend up here. I will, I will post it again because for the kids in the back, look at that. Nadia, the amazing writer, 10K in a day. Well, 10K in a day. I am simply blown away by 10K a day. I used to be excited about 1K a day, but 10K, it's like an all day. That's a marathon. That's, that's not a sprint. That's a marathon. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I know. Cece is up late. She is she's burning the midnight oil for us. And I appreciate it. So what are some ways you kind of freshen up your work environment? Or do you just like doing the same things all the time? I find that mostly I try to set in the same areas. I try to do the same things, but like like I said, when it's getting stale, I do like last night I did the standing desk. And I tell you what. I got a thousand words in 45 minutes. And for me, that's great. That's a great number. Uh, I, I feel like my sprinting time is getting faster. The more I'm sprinting with you guys and the more I'm sprinting on this project, I feel like my speed's going up. So yay. And I think your speed will go up too. So uh, another suggestion I like to make is to track your progress on these sprints. So 80s rock. It was the decade. And I have my 80s hair back. So we're going to do it. Maybe I should do an 80s sprint. Oh my God, we should do an 80s sprint. Oh, we can hear, we can talk about things like Back to the Future, all the cool 80s stuff. Oh my God. Sorry. You really would think that I had the peppermint mocha, but this is just Pam. When she's writing, she gets excited. But yeah, 80s rock, Chumbawamba, like I, I mean, 80s, 90s, man, I got in there and I was really excited. Oh, yes, pure energy, bomb, 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 pure energy. That's the Peshmo. Mode. I want to know what you're thinking. 
Tell me what's on your mind. Yeah, the four the four orchestra is going on in my in my crazy head. Hopefully, I've uh, if you don't know that song, look up Depeche Mode. I want to know what you're thinking. I think is the name of the song, and it is definitely an '80s song, and it's fun. Like Aha, Take on Me. Okay, all right. Wake me up before you go go. These are songs that get me still. They're they're happy songs. Eighties had a lot of happy music, and uh, today I was going around work singing "Don't Worry, Be Happy Now." That's another good eighties song. So yeah, if you guys are into it, man, we might do an eighties like flashback, and I'll dress my in my eighties garb as much as possible, and and we'll try to bring up 80s references and everything will be grody to the max if you guys want. So, yay, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that everyone's here and everyone's motivated and everyone's feeling it and you're getting your nano words in. <laughs> I think I lit a candle, so maybe you were summoned. <laughs> here, I, I summoned the demon Cassandra. Oh, 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 yes, you were summoned because we love having you. Yay. Hi, Cassie. Everyone's always happy to see Cassie. Everyone loves Cassie. Everyone loves Cassie. Chloe, Cassie, all of our friends are here. So share what you're working on. I know you guys are doing some great sprints today. Devin and Nadia and Squizzle. What is what is the project? Are you just hanging out with us? Because that's cool too. Um, hello, hello. Oh no, we said the name three times. We said Cassie's name three times and lit a candle. Oh gosh, that's how you let the right one in. Isn't that like a horror movie? <laughs> oh, everyone's happy to see Cass. Everyone's happy. We have to have your input, everyone, about the unicorn. She, she, he, she must be named. And I don't think he needs a pronoun or she does or they, because we're not that way. We're going to be friendly to everybody here. So this unicorn needs a name. Non-gender specific, please. Right now we have the suggestion of Christmas and it's not a bad name, but in the middle of July, I don't know if I want to call my unicorn Christmas, although there's always Christmas in July. So maybe, maybe share what you're working on, share what you're drinking. I, I wish I could join you. If anyone's having caffeine, I wish I could join you, but I cannot, but one more sprint and I'm allowing myself this lovely bad boy because I had to put off dinner. And so this is actually, and I don't eat sugar, so I'm trying to stay away from sugar. This is a stevia sweetened cacao. So it's healthy-ish. And I think I deserve it. So I'm going to have it. Cup, cup the unicorn. Cup the magic unicorn lives in Pam's house. And he's eaten by Big Oliver, the dragon that lives on my bed. <laughs> okay, so if anyone's watching the stream later, I usually try to stay on task. And I'm not quite this crazy. Yes, it's a, that's a lie. I'm, I'm always like this. I, I am literally always like this. Ask anybody. It's a sad, sad situation. But we do get the work done. Damn it. Darn it. It's time. I think it's time. For another surprise. It won't be that surprising. You know what I'm going to say. It's time for another spring. Oh, go back. Go back. No alarms. No alarms. Okay. I like the 25 minute sprints. I feel like they're very effective. And then we jump on in. Yeah, Oliver will eat, eat, cup the unicorn. Cup the mansion. We can call him Sprints. That's a great name. I think that's a great name. Yeah, we did. We we went all the way back to the 60s because we went to Puff. If I say he's gonna be Cup. Cup the magic. Yeah, Cup. How about this? We'll say Sprints Cup Stewart is his name. And he is now he, she, they, 
are now our official mascot. Huzzah! Two spritz, the unicorn! Huzzah! We have named Yon Unicorn. And it is good. <laughs> See, this is a special weekly nighttime sprint. I'm so excited that we have an official name for her for our little friend. And he's going to bring us all much luck in many words. And I just showed you my really chipped nail polish. And I'm sorry. All right. 25 on the clock. I think that's a good one. I think you should get your projects hot. I think you should get your word processors up and get your notebooks out. Get your caffeine should you need a refill. Get your water. Because honestly, this time of night, we all need to hydrate a little bit. Uh, turn on your mood lights. Get your candle. Do something unusual to, to honor this surprise sprint. Do something that you normally don't do. Not like drink caffeine because honestly, I would have a heart palpitations and be up all night. But do something unique. Like change your seat or come at it from a different point of view from the character. I, I don't know. Just look at some art before you start. Turn your screen blue. Because you can do that. You can change the background color. And that might inspire you. Because I've heard some sometimes different colors can get you inspired. So uh, try that. All right. 25 on the clock. Get your word processors hot. Sprints is here to encourage you. Don't forget Sprints is here. And he's ready. I hope you are too. Finishing your Christmas packages. Yay. Yeah, we missed beautiful Swiss. The Chrissy unicorn. Yay. Okay. We have 25 on the clock. And I hope you are ready for this nonsense because we are going to do some crazy nonsense. On your mark. Get set. Sprint!
Woo! That time. Hey, wait, why am I still small? Maybe bigger. Yay! How did you do? Dun, dun, dun. I'm doing a little Macarena, which is probably more 80s than, than for 90s and 80s. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then let me show me your numbers. I gotta see them. It can't be any better. I'm sure I didn't beat them. I don't know. I got like 400 this time. So not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm up to 2,500 for the day. And I am killing it on the story. I found another twist. Hey, Jordan, well done. Oh, unicorn horn of success for you. I am so happy. Double whammo. And I'm so proud of you. Welcome to the live. You are amazing. And I'm proud. Dang, Nadia, you are still just destroying your goals, destroying them. I, if this is your day to get words in, it is a good day. Today is that day for you. You are the master and I am so proud of you. I think you might be the queen of the stream so far tonight. Queen, we, we do honor people. We actually give out unicorns so that it's like, so that you feel honored and Sprints here is very proud of you as well. Sprints is giving you his mojo because this is great. We're sharing energy. We're getting pumped up. And I'm loving to see your numbers because you're getting me going. I have not hit 2,500 on a work night in a long time. So thank you, Pam Fam. You guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. Yay, Brenda, I'm so glad you joined us. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Jordan. I know you are writing away and doing amazing numbers. Editing mode. Yay, I am so glad I streamed as well. I feel in good mojo tonight, a very good mojo. And if you're new to the stream, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and it makes me happy. And I will promise to continue to show up at least weekly if not bi-weekly. I'm getting a little crazy with these. I think they're so motivating for me and for hopefully for other people. So they make me um, very focused on good things. And that's what we need in this world, don't we? So I looked up some 80s music and so I, I, I couldn't remember because, you know, time moves differently sometimes. And you think, well, that was songs from the 90s or from the 80s. But 80s was good for like upbeat really good music like i don't stop believing it was in there um queen i believe we are the champions might have been early 80s uh eye of the tiger was definitely 80s so tell me that that music is not motivational i dare you or show me another generation that had more happy upbeat music because honestly, I don't think so. I think the 80s really had some of the best, like, pump you up tunes. So next week, I think um, Saturday, I'll be doing a live stream. We might just be doing a flashback 80s vibe. Uh, and for those of you who didn't see, my friend Oliver has officially joined the stream. He is napping because he played hard today. He played and we are excited here and we got some beautiful editing done and I'm so happy for everyone. Thank you so much for showing up. I am, I have two, I have a little bit more. The more I figure out, the more it gives me ideas for other parts of this story. And I think the more that I'm finished, uh, flesh out my outline and do my zero draft, the better my first draft is going to be. I think my best first draft ever was of Conscript, which is my sci-fi novel that I put out about a year ago now. And it took me probably only three months to write that book. And the next book was Cadet. And I just started like kind of pantsing that one with a very loose outline. And it took me over a year to finish. So I'm 
for the third book in the series, which is going to be Rebel, I'm taking my time and I'm doing a really, really fleshy, good, juicy zero draft, or I consider that my, my, my beefed up outline. And then I'm going to go through and pick out what's great and what's good and what works. And then I don't have to invest too much time in making it beautiful before I know it works and know the story beats are hitting. So that's a little tip for you. If you tend to take a long time on your first drafts or you kind of write into the dark a little bit and that's okay, but maybe just thinking of it as a fat outline or just adding a, you know, a very detailed outline or throwing in some dialogue and finding your story beats. If you don't know what that is, I can talk about that in another live stream or a sit down video. I think I talked a little bit about it in one of my plotting videos that I have, but uh, story beats are important because you have to go, uh, you don't have to. Not, that being said, stories that are more successful tend to have um, a turning point and, you know, the inciting incident and the climax and the dark moment. Like there's certain key points that if you don't hit these points, then it's not going to be satisfying to the reader. So I like to work out all my story beats and even outline individual scenes before I actually write the hardcore first draft. So, I mean, what's your process? Do you, I love to know other people's processes and how they can streamline. I know this is taking me six weeks or so to do a full outline on this, but I figure it's gonna save me months of time because I'm focusing now. But anyways, uh, the theme of this stream was surprise. So we've talked about how to add surprise to your novels a little bit, maybe doing some twists that other people might not expect, but making them make sense. Sort of like, I am your father, but you know, in Star Wars or adding surprise to your everyday writing techniques because sometimes writing in the same place all the time can get stale or doing the exact same thing at the same time cannot be as motivating. So that's why I'm doing this live stream during the week because it's, different and it's happy and it's it's an evening one so it feels a little more atmospheric and I got my candle burning and it's dark out and the train whistle is blowing so I got a whole different vibe and I get different people on the stream so it's giving me different energy so consider adding surprise to your writing um and then this is the last how about how about this you surprise yourself I feel like we set so many limiting beliefs on ourselves. We tell ourselves that I can't stay up and add this extra hundred words to my novel. I can't finish this book because it's too hard. I went in the wrong direction. I don't have time to write because of this and this and this. Surprise yourself. Just do an extra hundred words today. Just do one extra live stream today. Because you know what? If I hadn't have done this, I would not have got 2,500 words today. And you might not have got as many words today and if, you hadn't, if you hadn't joined me. So surprise yourself. Challenge yourself. Really take a chance on your dreams and put the effort in. And I guarantee you, I promise you that those dreams will start coming true. And if nothing else, you will come out of the other side with more faith in yourself and whatever you try in the future, you'll be happier and you'll be more productive. And even if you don't or not that productive, it's okay. I think the trying is, is where we, we shine and where we prove to ourselves that we're not quitters and, and we do a good job. And I don't know. You just grow your faith. All right. Wow. Yeah. Unexpected writing with the Pam fam. It's always fun. And I might I might be doing these again. That's why you guys subscribe to get notice. So or follow me on Instagram and all my socials. I also post pretty regularly. I'm sure my readers are probably sick of re reading about my live sprints, but I hopefully they're they're popping in sometimes to see some of my process because I know I whenever um before I was an official professional writer, I would pop in to look at my some of my favorite writers like websites and if they have social media, I would definitely read about their processes. And it's because I'm not just a writer, I'm a reader. So hopefully if there's any 
people that read my books, they pop in and see this is, you know, the process and the hard work that goes into making a book. Wow. I'm sorry. I was talky talky. I think that there's something in the mint tea, but guys, there's something in the tea. It's just me. Yay, Pam Pam. All right. Who is ready to be bestowed upon the unicorn horde success? Can we do three Pomodoros? I don't know. Can we? Who's up for another sprint? Who wants to make their dreams come true? Who wants to surprise herself with the productivity that they can provide? I do. So join me for one last killer sprint because I really have to go after that. And I'm going to eat my chocolate because I'm way over my goal. So if you see me eating chocolate and that's why, because I need, I deserve it. I did a good job. All right. Sprints is here to encourage you. Get ready. Get your WordPress message up. If you need to refill your water, if you need to get more tea, if you want to get some coffee, which is encouraged if you really need it. I will never guilt you about lovely, lovely coffee. Get your coffee, get your tea, get your alcoholic beverage, get your sparkling water. Get ready to rumble. This is the last of the sprints. Let's do it. Let's do it, people. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, I'm definitely going 80s next week. You guys just be prepared. On Saturday, we are going in a time machine back to the past. Head them off at the past. Ha! Sorry. Ah, we're going to be flashing back to the 80s and maybe sure that you know of from the 80s that you might like. All right, setting this up, setting it up, sprinting time. It's sprinting time. It's sprinting time. I can't believe it's sprinting time. So excited! It's sprinting time. And let's see what we got here. It's sprinting time. It's sprinting time. Can't believe it's sprinting time. Oh, there we go. I think that we were going to do this. This one, I'm going to get ready. And I'm going to surprise. Okay, here we go. I didn't put 25 in the clock. Why didn't I do that? All right, 25 on the clock. I want you guys to get the word processors hot. I want to see some big word counts this time. 25, 25, 25. Let's do it. Come on, Pam. Figure out how to make this work. And go! Ah! It always surprises me.
Cleveland. Finish line, touchdown. <laughs> How did you guys do? I had another good one. I just topped 3,000 words for the day, people. 3,000 words. I am over the moon. I don't think I've hit these kind of numbers in uh, forever. Hey. Oh, my goodness. How did you guys do? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Cassie is our cheer captain. She is totally the cheer captain. Like, oh, my God. Wow. She is fantastic. And I think that she is the MVP of the Pam fam. Just saying. She is amazing. And I love her. I love you all. You guys are doing such a good job. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. And look at that. You powered me through to 3,000 words for the day. Show me your numbers. I want your numbers. This unicorn needs to get you excited. Well, hello, Clara. Aw, yay. That was our that was our last part, but thank you for joining us. I love having you. Uh, if you would like, uh, go back and start watching the beginning of the stream. But I love having you here, and so glad to hear you're getting your editing done. Yay, Clara! Unicorn horn for you. Yay, Clara! Unicorn horn for you. Barb, look at you go. New words. What is even up with you? New words. Who dis? Okay, you're awesome. Oh, yes, yes. Go, Bart. See, Cassie's better at it than I am, but I give you a double thumbs up and a unicorn horn of success. Let me officially give it to you. Barb, I love seeing your numbers. You're an amazing writer and you're incredible. I'm so thankful that you're here today to help support the Pam Fam. fam. Proud of you. Hey, Jordan, thank you for coming. And please don't forget to, if you're new to the stream, and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you are watching this later, feel free to share your numbers. Because you know what? I give out unicorn horns of success even after the fact. And Sprints would love to see your numbers as well. And we will give you high fives and all sorts of encouragement even after the fact. I always check the comments. It actually makes my day when I see a comment on one of my videos. So thank you all for giving me the support. I Hopefully this was supportive of you. Remember to keep surprise in your life because what, what, did, what did Sheldon Cooper say once that he just likes, you know, sometimes he has like t-shirts for whimsy's purpose. And sometimes you just got to do fun, surprising things to keep you excited about your writing and about life. So thank you so much for coming. There will be more pop-up streams. There will be more, more, more funness. And next week we're going to do 80s day. So come back and see me Saturday around three. I believe I'm doing a three o'clock sprint, but keep um, hook up and we will see you later. Oh, Oliver is awake. It looks like I'm going to have my work cut out with me. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I, I love you all. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful week. I will see you Saturday. Happy writing. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Great job, everyone. Great job. Unicorn horns of here. High fives. Unicorn horns for everybody. High fives. High fives. High fives. Thank you all. Bye. Bye.